Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. And I do hope at the end of this video, y'all will be able to learn to prevent your personal information to be available in the online world. And of course, prevent yourselves to be the next uh, victims of these bad guys. No telling how many people were already victims of these wrongdoings. And that excludes people who prefer to stay quiet, won't report anything what happened because they're done messing with it. So they're tired of it. And for them, it's very shameful. They were a victim of it. Sad to say, that's a reality. And hopefully this or this video will help y'all in any way. So feel free to share, subscribe, and um, feel free to comment down below and I'll be more than happy to answer them um, to the best of my knowledge. One of the ways that these bad guys are using in order to steal these personal information is through text. In the world of fraud, we call it smishing. So that's SMS and phishing. Phishing that's stealing personal information and then SMS, that's your text. So mainly it's um, stealing personal information through text. Now, what are y'all gonna do suppose you receive this kind of text messages? Um, y'all might be wondering what in the world are these text messages I am referring to. I have one and I'll be more than happy to show it with y'all. Most of the time these text messages come from legit companies, known companies, big companies. To name a few, PayPal, Microsoft, Amazon, name it. And these bad guys are really, they are really good at doing, they're really good at their job. Well, that's their job. I will be sharing with y'all what I do and whenever I receive this kind of text messages. So let me share with y'all written on my phone. So let's go ahead and access my messages. And I have one here, which I intentionally did not delete to share with y'all. So it says support at service mail, six non, just random numbers. And after that is paypal.com. And it says PayPal service, your account has been restricted. For more information, visit that website first off i do not have a paypal account so that does not make any sense and if you look it says paypal's dash service so it's from paypal it should only say paypal another red flag on this text message is it says from paypal but the link that was indicated that is shown is not even from paypal so when i look to the email it's a support at service mail. Well, yes, random numbers and it's the paypal.com. So what are you gonna do if you will receive this kind of message? First thing first, go ahead and block the sender. So to do that, click on info and then scroll down. There's the block this caller option. Go ahead and click it. And it says you will not receive phone calls messages or FaceTime from people on the block list. So after blocking that caller, let's go back to the message. Now, by just looking at the message, please, please, this is the most important thing. Do not click on the link. For the purpose of this demonstration, I went ahead and typed that link on one of my browsers, and this is what I found. It says 404 not found. Please forward this error screen to phonemax.club. So that tells you something. Whatever that link was that was tied onto that message, whatever this phonemax.club slash aw4rwp link does not exist. So no telling what is embedded onto that link. The next thing we need to do is to delete it. Just go ahead and delete it. So push that button or push that message and then that delete option will be provided so just feel free to delete it and it will ask for a confirmation just go ahead and do so in this message i don't do business with paypal i don't have any account with them so that's very safe to say that it's okay to delete the message another thing you can do is you can also contact paypal 
and let them know that you received this kind of text message and they will be providing you an email address where you can forward the message to and from there their security team will be the one in charge of those kind of messages since this message has their um, name on it recap what we did on that text message is we did not click on any link then second we did not respond to that to that message or we did not call that phone number if you will do so you're just giving them the opportunity you're just giving these bad guys these scammers fraudsters or what you call it to manipulate you and then we block the sender so doing so we are not going to be able to receive exactly the same message or exact any other messages from that sender and last thing that we did we deleted the message um, all you got to do is delete that's it it has nothing to do with you um you do not know who the sender is just delete it you don't in my case i do not have a paypal account so i don't need it and then last thing that you need to do is move on always remember that these kind of messages especially for text messages it's not solely intended to you um these bad guys i'm pretty sure they send it by batches thousands and thousands of exactly the same message sent to thousands of phone numbers All you gotta do delete it move on that's it hopefully these techniques or steps will be able to prevent y'all from being one of their victims. I know there's still a lot of messages out there and if by any chance I'll get another one, we will go ahead and discuss it on my next video. And I will also be showing y'all on the next few videos, I'll be also showing y'all how to not receive this kind of messages in the future because like i said there are several names that they can use several companies that they can use at this point if you think it does not sound right then you are right